Hello Leo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a bonus reading for you guys. Just as a special thank you for all of the love and support that you have shown me this year. So I really wanted to do a bonus reading for all signs this time around. And this is a general reading as always, Leo. It's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. So please do take from this whatever makes sense for your life, your situation, your relationship, and let go of what does not resonate with you. If you are interested in your own private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box, as well as a list of all of the card decks that I use for my readings. So Leo, what I have in front of me are two card decks, both by All Things Intuitive, to start off this reading. And it is timeless, so really whenever you're guided to tune in and watch, and hopefully it'll resonate with you. And um, we'll go ahead and grab some focus messages from these decks, and then let's see how this all unfolds for this bonus reading. So starting off with the messages of Love Oracle cards for you, Leo. Let's take a look and see what needs to come through this time around. Adjust these, adjust that slightly, sorry. Let's take a look and see. Angels and Spirit Guides for Leo, please. Please bring forward whatever focused messages Leo needs to focus on for this bonus reading. Ooh, marriage. Look at that. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Perhaps you already know this, Leo. Perhaps you don't. Let's take a look and see how this reading unfolds. But wow, that's a great card. Vulnerability coming through. You can be completely open with this person. This is somebody that you could actually build a life with, Leo. So if you are focused on this individual for this reading. Perhaps you have pictured a future with this person. You guys might have even talked about marriage. It could be that you're either planning a wedding at this time as well. That's for some of you guys. So let's go ahead and add an additional focus message with the Hidden Truth Oracle. Again, by all things intuitive. Let's take a look and see what we can add to this. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. What else do we need to know at this time by way of an additional focus message for Leo for this bonus reading? I hid who I really am from you. Isn't that interesting? That could either be you, Leo, that could be this person. Perhaps that's why there's that vulnerability that's coming through. It's now telling you, you can actually be completely open with this person and they can be completely open with you. There's nothing that you need to hide from each other at this point. Okay, so let's add to this with some Mystic Moon Oracles, Leo, to add to this reading. So angels and spirit guides for Leo at this time. For this bonus reading. Please bring forward whatever messages need to be communicated for the collective at this time. Let's see what we can learn. What additional messages need to come through for you, Leo? Oh, wow. Return. Somebody wants you back. Some of you guys are at a crossroads unable to decide whether you want to come back or not. Perhaps you feel as though you might have settled in a connection. So some of you guys might actually already be committed to another person at this point, and there's somebody that you're in separation from that actually wants you back. And it might be this person that can offer you the happiness that you're looking for, Leo. By way of marriage, there's a reason why you're at this crossroads, I feel. Communication coming through here. So it might have been a while since you've heard from this person, Leo, or they've heard from you. There's a part of the situation that is healing right now. The person that you're focused on for this reading, Leo, could be doing some shadow work at this time. When somebody is doing shadow work, 
these are things that are going on beneath the surface. This is something that more than likely they're not sharing with people just working on themselves behind the scenes in the shadows. It's in the dark right now. That healing might be happening in the dark, just away from the limelight at the moment. So if you guys follow each other on social media, more than likely they're not sharing a whole lot of what's going on in their life. They're just keeping all of that hidden right now. But what's coming through here is that they want you back. Finally recognizing the type of connection that this ultimately represents in their heart space. But look at this, and I did tap into this third party situation because I do feel some of you guys have settled in another relationship, but this other person wants you back. However specific this is coming through. Because if you end up not leaving this connection that you are just settling for Leo and pursuing a relationship with this other person that does create a third party situation. I don't ultimately feel that that is what you're looking for. I do feel this may have, or this may represent a lost love of yours, somebody that you ended up losing. You guys wanted a separation. Perhaps you've always pictured them as the one, the person that you pictured yourself marrying someday. But you guys haven't communicated in a while. It may have taken actually a very long time for this person and or for you as well to come to the realization that you belong together. But there is a barrier that is coming through here. Part of that barrier might have something to do with a third party. And that's what needs to be purged out, okay? This third party needs to go in order for the both of you to explore a life together. Look at this. Commitment. Marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. I feel that's something that you've already understood and known in your heart space, Leo, that ultimately this is your person, but there is a barrier that is being represented here. That barrier needs to go. That's a part of that purging process that might have something to do with a third party situation. Perhaps that's where the settling energy is coming from, that you settled for a relationship. It might provide you the security that you're looking for or even the stability that you're looking for, but there's something missing. And I think what's missing is what this person ultimately represents in your heart space. The kind of love and passion that you're looking for. Part of that surrender energy is letting go. And the third party, the barrier, is a part of that purging process that needs to be surrendered and released in order to manifest this commitment and this union that you are looking for with this person, I feel. And in order to manifest that, you are going to have to abandon some connection or relationship that you have just settled for. That's what I'm picking up from that. That is what I'm picking up from that. Perhaps what you're looking for in your relationship, Leo, is that element of compromise, an equal give and take in your connection, and perhaps that's missing. And I feel communication in your relationship may not have been the best either. So this is a cycle that is going through its phase, its phases, whatever cycle it is in at the moment. And part of what needs to phase out is a third party. That's what's gonna remove that barrier. That's what's going to allow communication to open up so that this person that you ultimately wanna reconcile with, I feel Leo, 
has the capability of bringing you what it is that you're looking for. So during this time that you're either in a connection that you're not happy in or whatever it is that you're settling for in your life that's preventing you from finding the happiness that you're being able to manifest with this person that wants you back. It's time to reinvent yourself and work on yourself. We've got the victim card. You are not a victim. You're not tied down to anything or anyone. And that is as well a realization that you need to come to. That this is a door that you can walk out of if you want. You know? You're not trapped. Nobody has the capability of trapping you in a relationship if you don't want to be there. You can actually get rid of those ties that are binding you to a connection. If, again, you don't want to be there, you can walk out that door at any given time. Get rid of the third parties. Purge out whatever it is that needs to be released and surrendered and let go of in your life. Allow this healing to happen. Allow the cycles to phase. Allow the cycles to come to completion. There are lessons that need to be learned here on both your part as well as the person that you're focused on for this reading. There are lessons that need to be learned here in your individual lives so that when you come back together, if it gives you the opportunity to do that, you guys are not going to be bringing in baggage from the past. Metamorphosis is very much tied in with this reinvention card. If you have been working very hard at yourself, Leo, to improve the quality and direction of your life, it is picking up off of that. This person as well could be working on themselves. Look at this next card. We've got a soulmate being represented here. Awakening card for me taps into typically divine masculine energy. And it is just energy, so it can be male or female. Take it for how it resonates. Somebody is finally awakened to the fact that this is a soulmate bond. That could be you, Leo. That could certainly be the person that wants you back. Divine Feminine is being represented right next to this Awakening card, which again for me is Divine Masculine. And I feel my Divine Masculine is very much in tune with what's going on with his Divine Feminine. And these are two people that are coming through as soulmates. You're connecting in the fifth dimension, still connecting in the 5D. What this person is wanting, Leo, is to be able to have you in the 3D, to be able to manifest a future with you. Marriage, long term, a real commitment. Something that you have been yearning for, I feel, if you have just settled into a connection in your life that doesn't fulfill you. That needs to be purged out. Let it go. Release it and move on to the next chapter and cycle of your life, which I feel might actually bring you towards your soulmate. That's what I'm picking up from that. Let's add to this, guys, with some tarot messages. This is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot. You do not have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That is just the name of the card deck. Let's add to this, Leo, and let's see what else is going on in this connection between you and this person. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo, for this bonus reading. What else do we need to learn here? But there's that very vulnerable energy between the two of you. But it's coming through, Leo, to let you know that you can actually allow this person into your heart space. You can be completely open with this person. They can be completely open with you. There is no need to hide anything from each other any longer. If you love each other and care for each other, then you both know what it is that you need to do. The Knight of Wands, a passionate adventure coming through here. Wands is fire energy. Leo, your own energy, as well as Aries and Sagittarius. 
for my divine masculine Leos, perhaps you're ready for this passionate adventure with your soulmate. You might be ready to finally take action to create movement towards a reconciliation here. We have the Ace of Cups right after that. Cups is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some of you guys. Love initiation. Compassion, intimacy. This person has the capability, Leo, of filling your cup of love. They fulfill you. They make you happy. Whatever reason you guys went into separation, I feel enough time may have passed for you guys to figure out you belong together. And if during that time frame of separation, you went into another relationship, or they might have as well, perhaps you're both settling in other connections that you just are not fulfilled by, that needs to be purged out in order for both of you to connect in the 3D and get out of this fifth dimension and finally come face to face and just be together. The Ace of Cups can give you that fresh new beginning that you're looking for. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a wise investment. Pentacles is Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The Ace of Pentacles is Manifestation, Leo. In regard to your money matters, it's tapping into prosperity as well. So money will be good as well. Interesting how we do have the Three of Swords right after that, which is heartache. Threes tap into communication in tarot. We already have the communication card that's coming through here. So I'm feeling here you haven't heard from this person or you guys haven't communicated in a while. But the desire to communicate is certainly here. I feel when you guys went into separation, Leo, it broke your heart. It broke their heart as well. Because there is that soulmate bond between the two of you. You're spiritually connected to this person. It's almost like a piece of your heart has been missing because you're not with this person. And I feel you guys might actually be on the same page where they're missing you just as much as you're missing them. But there's changes that have occurred here in your life and in their life while you guys have been in separation. And certainly you both may have moved on to other relationships, but I feel you know in your heart of hearts that's not where you belong and in order to reconcile and come together the way you're both wanting you need to both get out of your individual relationships otherwise that would create third-party situations i don't think that that's what you're looking for leo we also have the hermit coming through for some of you it might be a virgo that you are thinking about we have the need to reevaluate the situation. That's a part of the Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, lay down those heavy burdens, Leo. And if part of those heavy burdens is that you are staying in a situation or relationship that's not fulfilling you or making you happy, lay those burdens down. We have the Temperance card here, which is Sagittarius. Restoration. Possible reconciliation. That's what's coming through here. And then you've got the world card. So that's a cycle going back to, I have so many cards here. Going back to this cycle card, I feel that's very much in tune with this card. This is cycle completion, guys. Something needs to come to completion in order to bring about the next chapter of this love story here. And I feel you both have some purging that needs to be done here. You're in hermit mode at the moment, doing some soul searching more than likely, Leo. Perhaps you feel really lonely without this person. This is a time for meditation for reflecting for reevaluating and we've already got that reflected in that seven of pentacles you got to follow your heart and what it's telling you follow your heart not what everybody else is wanting to tell you by way of advice or their opinions the hermit as well is tapping into reconciliation 
bridging the gap between two people who are estranged from each other. You gotta go within, look within your heart space for those answers. Focus on seeking and finding solutions to what went down here in this connection. The hermit is bringing in people from the past that are re-entering your life, Leo. Okay, somebody wants you back and I feel that that might actually be a mutual thing. They're coming forward as your soulmate. Lay down those burdens. The temperance, as I mentioned, is a possible reconciliation. That is a part of the temperance energy. It is harmony. It's restoring balance in your life. And it is healing energy as well. And we already have that represented here. If you've been thinking about traveling for the holidays, that's being indicated through that temperance card as well. But in regard to love and romance, Leo, the temperance is giving you a possible reconciliation. And then here we are with that world card, cycles coming to completion, okay? So the world card is Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus for some of you. But something's coming to completion. Something has to come to completion. Something has to conclude. And I feel what has to conclude are other relationships that you don't want to be in. This could be for you. This could be for them. This could be for both of you if you're involved with other people. Get rid of these third parties and you can explore where this relationship can ultimately go. Because the world brings you success, Leo. It brings you closure, if that's what you're looking for. It brings you peace, peace of mind. It brings you triumph and happiness. Finally, the pieces of your life falling into place. And, you know, you can get rid of whatever it is that you're settling for. Get rid of these barriers and obstacles that are standing in the way of your happiness. It's happiness, okay? It's positive things finally coming into your life. Goals that have been achieved or are in the process of being achieved. If you've been looking to move, this is bringing you a place that will make you happy. And you guys might actually find a place together if you decide that marriage is what you're looking for with this person. In regard to your love life, this is a romance that begins again, this time on a new foundation. A stronger foundation between the two of you. Because now you know what it is that you both want. Whatever limitations you guys have placed on this connection, obstacles that have prevented you from coming together, all of this has the capability of being removed by this world card. Whatever you give, Leo, will be returned to you many times over. You'll be fine. You'll come out on top. Money-wise, things are going to improve there as well. You've got that Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity. So financially, you're going to be good as well. Good as gold. All right, let's add to this, Leo, with some romance angels here. Angels and spirit guides for Leo. What else do we need to know at this time, please? For this bonus reading for Leo, please bring it forward for me. For Leo, please, angels and spirit guides. Yeah, stay optimistic. Think positive about your love life, Leo. Everything's going to ultimately work itself out. You'll see. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance with this person, okay? They want you back. I feel you want them back. You guys belong together. You're coming forward. Where is my soulmate card? Right here. You guys belong together. So, you know, don't fret. Everything's ultimately going to work out, I feel. Let go of those control issues. You can't control anybody 
or anything. The universe is going to bring you back together when it's time. So just live your life until that happens. Allow the situation to unfold the way it is meant to, Leo. At the end of the day, you guys still have very romantic feelings for this person. They are on the same page. They really are coming forward as your soulmate. You know, it's telling you keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. I'm sure you already know this. You know, you guys may have come from different backgrounds, be of different ethnicities, different religions, different everything. You know, this person is unlike anyone you've ever met. There's this very flirtatious energy between the two of you. Still very much attracted to each other, as I've already mentioned. You know, romantic feelings here. You guys are like two magnets that have had this barrier stuck between the two of you. And I feel this is going to be removed eventually. And look at this. Reconciliation being reiterated here. The temperance card is already telling you that the, the potential to come back together, it's here. And then the hermit card as well. Reconnection, bridging estrangements. So in order for all of this to happen, you got to free yourself. You got to free yourself from what you have settled for. Relationships that you know you don't belong in. Time to take back control of your life, Leo. This is coming through as a very passionate connection. So yeah, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership here with this person who wants you back. But there are things that you got to purge out of your life first in order to remove that barrier. And for some of you, you're already attached, invested in another relationship that you feel you've settled for. And perhaps this person is in the same boat. You guys have to clear that out and purge that out in order to bring in this reconciliation. I feel when that's time, you guys have nothing standing in the way. You can come together if that's what you're looking for. All right. So let's add to this with some unspoken messages from the Volume 2 deck by Fire Witch Tarot. I don't know why I've chosen Volume 2 for the first half of December bonus readings. I just have, but at the end of the day, this is timeless. So you can watch this two, three, four months from now, even a year from now, if it happens to resonate. I hope it helps you. So focused on your person, Leo, whoever it is that you're thinking about for this reading, let's take a look and see what it is that they want to say to you. If they could, if they could communicate, what is it that they want to say to you? And also, this could gravitate towards words, feelings, emotions that you have been wanting to communicate to them as well. So take from this what makes sense for you, what you feel is meant for you. Angels and spirit guides for Leo. Who is it that needs to speak up here? Oh my God. This is crazy. Look at this message, guys. Look familiar? That's a second reference to vulnerability here. That is a second reference. That is crazy. This card says, your vulnerability teaches me to be humble. You can be completely open with this person, Leo. You both can. Okay, you actually both can. Next card, when I'm inside your soul, I find true bliss. That's because you guys belong together. You guys are soulmates. You're spiritually connected. They're coming through letting you know, Leo. Look at this. Please stop focusing on past hurtful situations. So whatever it is, whatever it was, that brought you guys into separation. They're wanting you to move past that in order to work on a reconciliation. So something painful may have come down in this connection between the two of you, but I feel you can overcome that. There is healing energy that is being represented here. 
let's grab some more. What else, please, for Leo? Who else needs to speak up here? Manifesting through tantric pleasures. Holy crap. For those of you who were intimate, they may still very much be thinking about those moments. Perhaps you guys are on the same boat when it comes to that. Because this is coming through as a very passionate bond between two people. Soulmates. Look at this. Perhaps this is how you're feeling or how you're both feeling. It feels like I've loved you for a thousand years. And if you guys have connected in a past life, perhaps you have. I can't help but look at this next card. Look at this. So even though we've got a soulmate connection being represented here, this particular card reads, My beloved, we will make it through this twin flame journey. So some of you guys are coming through as twin flames. And some of you, of course, represent soulmate bonds here. For those who are unfamiliar, a twin flame is your mirror soul. You can have more than one soulmate in your lifetime, but you can only have one twin flame. So whichever type of connection you feel you have with this person, it's very special. And it's worth coming back together to re-explore where this could ultimately go and where this could end up leading Leo is a happy life, a happy marriage, harmony, joy, fulfillment with this person that you are in separation from. There's no need to settle. If you feel that you've settled in a connection that doesn't bring you what it is that you're looking for, it's time to purge that out. It's time to free yourself, take back control of your life, and go after what it is and who it is that you really want this time. It's okay to be vulnerable, but there's no need to hide yourself from the person that you're meant to be with any longer. Because I feel you guys are actually both coming through with very vulnerable energy. But you guys can work through this. I really feel that you can manifest a reconciliation here. There's work to be done. There's healing that needs to continue. You both need to free yourself from relationships that you're just settling for. Okay, that's clearly communicated here. But I feel given time, you will be able to come back together and really find happiness with the person that you are meant to be with in this lifetime, Leo. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this reading. I hope whatever part of this reading resonated with you, that it brought you some clarity that you have been looking for at this time. All right, guys, and if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box, and I will be back real soon with more readings for you, Leo. In the meantime, take care, and thank you so very much, guys, for tuning in. Bye-bye.